Alrighty then, hey guys, One Good Road here, welcome to another video. Today I wanted to walk you through um, the Reed bicycle, or the Reed CX uh, bicycle. Um, as shown just here, just there, there we go. Uh, excuse the camera, it's a new one so I'm just kind of playing around with it. Um, so that's the sun setting um, here in Australia. Uh, I thought I'd do a little bit of a first uh, look and overview on how the bike's been so far. I've used it for about 300k so far, and um, I thought I'd give you my first impressions on it. Um, so, what should I begin with first? Um, excuse all the bags, uh, these are all from Apidura, because I'm actually touring with them right now. I'm just taking a day off today, and um, even though it's beautiful weather. And um, what should we start off with? Um, on the bike, um, let's see if I can focus in on this, uh, we've got Shimano, which is quite su surprising, but um, for the price, um, actually, let's start with the price. The price of the entire bike is about 500 US dollars, roughly. Um, I spent about 650-ish, or it can go up to 700, uh, depending on um, uh, what you... Uh, where, where you're from um, and yeah this one was a really good price which I was very happy about with uh, Reed uh, or Richie should I say gave me a good good price on the bike uh, in Sydney and um, really cool guy really nice shop in Sydney and uh, so yeah the price of the bike is the main thing that people look for with this Reed cyclocross gravel bike um, um, let's just walk through the components so that you can get that off the list. Um, so the group set on it is a Shimano Claris, which you would be thinking to yourself, well, that's actually the lowest model, that's not very good. But actually, they've just updated this model so that now, as you can see, there is no cable sticking out this side. So it's the new design, which comes from like Altegra, Dura Ace, and all that stuff, which I think is really great to see that coming out for... Um, the lower end model stuff. So this is like the cheapest group set that um, Shimano make and it's actually surprisingly nice, you know. Um, and the front derailleur is also a Shimano Claris. Um, I'll get to the group set um, or the crank set in a minute. Um, and the rear derailleur is also Shimano Claris. Um, and the brakes are from SRAM, uh, the Avid uh, series, I think, um, if, I get, if I'm saying that right. And it's pretty decent brake, I'll explain that in a minute. Um, uh, the tires, the tires are, as you can see just there, Continental, uh, the Cyclocross Speed, 35 millimeters. So it's actually a pretty decent size for, for touring, I'm, I'm quite happy with them. Um, I wish that there were maybe 40 mils for touring, but you know, you can't complain for a bike costing around 500 US dollars. In pounds, I think it's like 380 pounds or something. Um, again, I'm sorry about all the kit that you see. I know it makes it a little tricky to see, but I can't take it all off. It'll take me ages to put it back on. Um, so yeah, let's start off with the shifters and, and I'll give you my opinion on that. Um, the shifting on the shifters are pretty decent. Um, they are going to feel a little clunky because um, it is a cheap, a cheap bike, um, so you can't really complain. But they do work fine um, once you get the, the gearing right. Um, I found that the, the rear derailleur and the uh, front derailleur shift just fine. I wish that I had actually a larger cog on the back. That's the only thing I wish I had. Um, because the cog which comes on, I think it's um, 12 up to 32 teeth, I think, if I'm right, and it's a 8 speed. So, um, uh, the front is also uh, two rings, and um, I wish there were three. But um, again, you can't really complain for the price. The thing I don't like is uh, Probably the crank set out of most things. I can't twist it around because I'm leading the pedal on the other side. Um, but it's upside down, I know, but it says Lasco. And the only thing I would have liked is if the group set was, uh, the crank set was from Shimano 
the Claris or, or, or something from Shimano because I I don't know Lasco. They're, they're just a cheap um, Taiwanese, I believe, based company. Uh, I'll try and remember to leave a link in the description, but um, you can look them up, Lasco. Um, and I think they're based in Taiwan and it, it's okay. You know, um, sometimes I've had it where, you know, you push really hard and once every, I don't know, 100 or 200 kilometers, I noticed that the, the bearings were kind of, they would rub quite loudly and make a click sound and then they would just be fine after. And I think that just happens on cheap, um, especially if it's raining, it happens a lot. You can hear the grinding of the, the bearings inside. Um, but. I've had that on other bikes costing the same price, so I'm kind of used to it. They're not ceramic, of course. They're just regular metal ball bearings. Um, so yeah, the only thing is I wish that the um, the ring was either larger, uh, the bigger the bigger ring here was larger, and I wish that the um, uh, smaller ring was a little bit smaller, so for hills, or even just putting a three set on there I think would be good, because I think two, I don't know, I think for touring, obviously this bike isn't 100% built for touring, it's built for cyclocross, but even for cyclocross I think the gear ratios should be a little bit um, higher so that you can spin much better on a cadence. Um, sorry if I'm not saying all these words in the right correct way. Um, so yeah, sh the, the shifting on the, on the, on the, the shifters is great, I think it's fine. Um, I've worked with Tiagras and they've been really, really nice. Um, the bars on them, now I'm looking at the bars, the bars are fine. Um, I wish they were a little bit wider for touring, of course, but other than that, I think they're fine. Um, I put a set of aero bars from Decathlon, it's a cheap price, they're only like 75 bucks because my last pair got, um, ran over by a car, but that's another story. Um, and then, uh, the saddle on the front here is just a stock saddle, um, pretty basic. Um, you might want to change it. It's not 100% comfortable, but it's fine. <laughs> I'm not going to change it because I don't have the price or the money to do it. Um, the wheels are from Alex Rims, as you can probably read out there. I've never heard of that company before, to be honest. So I'm not sure what to make of it. I wish it would focus. There we go. Um, so I found that the fine so far that they're fine. It feels a little bit cheap that that sounds normal by the way that's just that they're they're reasonably tight um spokes um but you know it's it's a fine rim it's a little heavy but it's fine um the brakes is another question um the brakes are pretty good from what i've found in the wet they're pretty good the first couple days you need to really dig into the pads to get some better grip out of them um but once once they sink in they're actually pretty decent um, and they're from Avid, they're from uh, SRAM, should I say, sorry. So they're pretty good. Um, and they work fine. They're obviously not going to be as good as, like, uh, the higher enough stuff from TRP or hydraulics. No, nowhere near as good as hydraulics. Um, but they work fine for the price. They're pretty good, actually, surprisingly. I do have a slight misalignment, um, on the... Uh, rear brake pad which I need to adjust um, which I know I've been getting a lot of comments on my other video about brakes but I'm not going to get into that because everyone's got their own experience um, so yeah the tires have been fine so far um, I, like I said for touring I wish they were 40s rather than 35 mils but I just don't have the money so I'm not I shouldn't complain um, and they're fine. I find that they're right reasonably fast. I've ridden them on the highways and I haven't gotten anything in them so far. No punctures so far. I've reasonably high pressure. Um, and yeah, I think they're fine. The frame is reasonably heavy. Um, the whole bike weighs 11.5 kilos, so it's a little bit heavy. Um, so I think if you're racing, you shouldn't use this bike. But if you are you know, one of those people who want to get into gravel riding um, and touring actually for gravel riding, then this bike's going to work fine for you. Um, I think it's pretty good. For the price, you really can't complain. £390, I mean, it's such a good price. And once it gets released into the UK, it's going to be a brilliant bike. Um, and I think that they should make their, um, I think they have a Reed Osprey, which I think another uh, YouTuber reviewed um, from Reed. 
um, and it's it's a really good road bike, but it obviously doesn't have disc brakes. So yeah, for I, I would I would say that they should call this bike a gravel bike rather than the Reed cyclocross bike, in my opinion. But depends on what you view it as. And the paint job's great. I really like it. I like the black and white, uh, black and orange, should I say? Um, so yeah, if you have any questions, uh, do let me know in the comments. I'll be using this bike as I tour through Australia for charity. Um, I'll leave a link below if you want to see that video or an iCard up here. Um, it's for charity for World Bicycle Relief where um, donated bikes go to kids in Africa. It's really cool. Definitely check out my uh, video about that. And I've made uh, reviews on these bags here from Apidura. Uh, they're pretty decent. They're very lightweight, so you can't complain. Um, oh yeah, there's a little tip for tourists. Um, if you're using um, uh, food bags at the front here, these little bags here that sit there, um, B-Twin from Decathlon do these bags for like nine bucks. Super cheap, highly recommend it. Um, and if you have any questions on my setup, let me know. I'm, I might be able to do another uh, setup tour video later. And uh, that is a review, or not a review actually, it is a first impressions on um, the Reed Cyclocross bike from, um, well, Reed. <laughs> yeah, any questions, let me know. Like, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.